Yesterday I gave you all my review of Amsterdam, and today I'd like to talk a little bit about the director of said movie, Amsterdam, and some of the things that he has been reported to have done. He's got quite a track record. Um, and my reason for doing this uh, is, well, I'll, I'll, I'll let me let the let the uh, reported facts speak for themselves. Uh, this is from Vulture.com. Um, you know, probably the Lugan Press, but still, uh, I think these are these are, uh, as far as I know, substantiated uh, events. These these all actually uh, were reported to have happened. So let's look at again this this director's. Uh, uh, career, uh, as a, uh, as an asshole, <laughs> um, or, and worse. So starting, I'm not going to read this all verbatim, but in June, 2020, George Clooney alleges that Russell yelled and screamed at people all day from day one on the set of three Kings. Uh, according to Clooney, the director publicly embarrassed a camera car driver and reduced a script supervisor to tears, allegedly. Root Russell once got physically violent with an extra who was supposed to tackle Clooney. When, when an extra who was supposed to tackle Clooney felt a bit nervous about executing the stunt, Clooney recalls Russell pushing the extra to the ground, kicking him, and questioning if he wanted to be in this fucking movie. Russell also allegedly flung his walkie-talkie on the ground and cursed an assistant director who intervened on behalf of the extra. All right, I'm going to break in here and say, those of you who haven't read my essay, which is on my uh, Substack page, titled Me and Vinnie Murphy, um, this, uh, this, this gives me a bit of P PTSD. Uh, although, actually, I, to be fair, to be honest, Vinnie Murphy, uh, <laughs> David O. Russell makes Vinnie Murphy look pretty tame. Um, but I just wanted to say that because I've had my own experience with a a, a, a director who, uh, this, in this case, a stage director, who behaved uh, in, in, in a rather untoward manner. So back to the article. Um, so I was trying to make things work, so I went over and put my arm around him. Clooney says, I said, David, it's a big day, but you can't push, shove, or humiliate people who aren't allowed to defend themselves. Really? They aren't? I would, I would certainly defend, defend myself. I don't care if it's a big-time big film director. Punch him out. Um, according to Clooney, this made an, him a new target of Russell's anger. Russell allegedly instructed Clooney to worry about his own performance, head-butted him, and grabbed his throat. He said that Clooney said that uh, shooting the movie was truly, without exception, the worst experience of my life. So that happened in the year two thousand. Uh, so he Russell denies that he physically attacked Clooney, uh, or the um, well, it denies the attack Clooney, but doesn't seem to deny. Uh, okay, well, there's some some people who say that uh, Russell was not picking on the AD, but simply yelling so he could be heard in a loud set. Still, Ruin corroborates that they ended up tussling. Okay. So, but, so he's got his defenders almost immediately, uh, you know, trying to mitigate his behavior. Uh, 2003, per the New York Times. Lugan Press. But still, uh, I think these claims have been substantiated for, for all I know. So, a uh, while. A uh, stopped clock is, is right twice a day, and this is one of those times, I think. Russell physically attacked Christopher Nolan at a Hollywood party. <laughs> the director reportedly wanted Jude Law to star in I Heart Huckabees, but heard that Law had decided to take a role in one of Nolan's films instead. So he attacked him, physically attacked him at a party. Um, Russell... With party guests watching, Russell put Nolan in a headlock, wrapped his arm around the fellow director's neck. He allegedly demanded that Nolan give up his star to show artistic solidarity. Okay. And Law remained in the Huckabee's cast. So anyway. 
I could see being uh, annoyed if somebody, some, some other director was trying to take away the actor who had committed to being in your movie, but this isn't the way to do it. Um, uh, moving on. In a now infamous video taken on the Huckabee set, actress Lily Tomlin expresses confusion, frustration with a con constant barrage of changes being asked of her. I'm not as brilliant as you. I can't keep up with you, she quips. So, she, you know, that's the way these people, ha that's the way these people have to react with these, with these maniacs, uh, you know, these, these, uh, these psychopathic maniacs. Uh, you, you have to massage his ego, you know, even as you're tr sort of trying to get him uh, to, 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 to behave. And that's what she's doing here. She's saying, I'm just I'm not as smart as you. But as we'll see, it does her no good. <sighs> Russell is eventually seen sweeping props off a desk, causing a person in the corner to cower as objects go flying. Bitch, I'm not here to be fucking yelled at, he shouts. I worked on this thing for three fucking years, and I'm not going to have some fucking cunt yell at me in front of the fucking crew when I'm trying to fucking help you. <laughs> Storms off the scent. Continuing to yell. Okay. Whew. All right. And I guess there's a video, there's an actual videotape of that one. Um, so that's, that's as far back as 2004. Uh, sure. Wish I hadn't done that, reportedly says. She, uh, Russell reportedly says when asked about the meltdown, but Lily and I are fine. Uh, Tomlin says that she and Russell both lost control which is not a practice on his part or my, okay, again, you know, what do they call this? Uh, enabling, you know, when you, uh, there's, that's too psychobabbly sounding, but when you, when you stand up for your abuser in order to try to, try to smooth things over, why, why stand up for this, this jerk, you know? Um, but they do, they do. It's part of the psychology. If somebody's in charge if somebody is powerful and you want to ingratiate yourself to him, there are a lot of people who do just what Lily Tomlin did uh, there. So, March 2011, speaking at South by Southwest, Paul Rubens alleges, a.k.a. Pee Wee Herman, uh, who's, who's got a past of his own, uh, you know, but uh, that's not really important here. Paul Rubens alleges that Russell screamed at him at the top of his lungs on his first day working on Nailed. Uh, later released under the title Exit All Love. I don't even know that one. Rubens claims he doesn't know what caused the director to start cursing and screaming at him on the first take. I don't think it was reality-based, he says with a laugh. All right. So more abusive behavior. Jan okay, this is where things get really quite interesting. January 2012. 19-year-old Nicole Peliquin files a police report alleging that Russell, her uncle, sexually assaulted her at a gym in Florida on December 30th, 2011. The Smoking Gun obtains and publishes a copy of the report filed with the Broward County Sheriff's Office. According to the report, the then 53-year-old Russell offered to help his niece with abdominal exercises and placed a hand right above her genitals. Peliquin, a transgender woman... Okay, all right, so they say this is his niece, this is his nephew, who's who is who got this operation done and now wants to be called a woman, just to set the record straight here. So Peliquin, uh, a transgender woman, i.e. a man pretending to be a woman, who was on hormone tre treatment at the time, further alleges that Russell then reached under her shirt and felt both of her breasts. The levels of uh, degeneracy here uh, are, are uncharted. Um, you know, uh, this is this guy's... Uh, the, the article, politi you know, politically correct terminology calls calls this person uh, a woman and says that uh, she's uh, Russell's niece. In actuality, he it's a he and he's Russell's nephew. But either way, uh, he's trying. He's reaching under uh, this person's shirt and feeling. Uh, the breasts that he has grown. So, I just, you know, uh, saying he wants to, he wants to, uh, you know, help her do, help him, her, do her, do do his, her abdominal uh, workout. Russell admits to a responding officer that he touched 
his nephew's breasts, <laughs> claiming that he was curious about how the hormones affected uh, his breasts. According to the report, Russell states that Bellaquin was being very provocative and became seductive after transitioning. Yeah, but even if that's true, this person is your 19-year-old nephew uh, pretending to be your 19-year-old niece. You're this person's 53-year-old uncle. It doesn't matter if the, if this person is acting seductive towards you. You don't get to do this. You don't get to do these things. Um, uh, so, moving on. Representative for the TMZ said the case has been closed and cups re referred to it to the state's attorney. It's an allegation of simple battery that was not witnessed by law enforcement. Really? Really? That... that they both they both admitted that it happened. Russell said he did it because because uh, this person, his niece nephew, this uh, person was was being, he said, uh, increasingly provocative, and uh, he wanted to touch his her breasts. Okay, September twenty fourteen. Allegations made. Uh, about Russell's behavior on American Hustle, uh, Alters journalist, uh, the Alters a journalist, Alters brother-in-law, uh, with so uh, his behavior on American Hustle with Sony CEO Michael Linton, Alters brother-in-law, Alter and Linton, yeah. I wonder about the names there, whether those are authentic names or not. But anyway, not only are the stories about him reforming himself total bullshit, Ultra writes, but the news stories of his abuse and lunatic behavior are extreme even by Hollywood standards. He alleges that Russell grabbed one person by the collar, repeatedly cursed at people in front of others, and so abused Amy Adams that co-star Christian Bale told the director to stop acting like an asshole. <laughs> funny, kind of funny coming from Christian Bale, who I like as an actor, but he's, he's had a couple of <laughs> very, very clear asshole moments, but nothing quite like this. Alter also generally claims that Russell treated his crew like shit and frightened people. Linton replies that he knew all about this intel, noting that Russell will be working with Fox in his next movie, blah, blah, blah. Um, so he, uh, Columbia Pictures co-president emails Sony co-chairman. Oh, this is from the the hacks. Remember the Sony hacks that came out in 2014. So uh, one of the hacks said that uh, that uh, this person, this co-president of Sony, saw Russell bring actress Sally Field to a party and reduce her to tears. This email exchange is also eventually leaked through the Sony hack. Okay, so he brought her to tears. I mean, that's a little vague. Maybe he just you know, maybe it was just her time of the month. And although, she, <laughs> although she's she's uh, she's she's too old for that to be the case. So, but I'm well, you know what I'm saying. It's a little too vague of an account to definitely say that he was to blame. But in the context of everything else that this guy has been seen doing, um, it's just one more one more atrocity to add to the rest of them. I mean, it, it makes us suspect that he was far from guiltless. Um, you know, because it's not, it's not a, uh, an exception to the rule. So February, 2015, an eyewitness tells TMZ that Russell and his frequent collaborator, Jennifer Lawrence had a loud argument on the set of the Fox movie, Joy. David launched into an ear piercing profanity filled tirade against the actress. Blah, blah, blah. In the since deleted Facebook post, Lawrence calls the shouting match a terrible rumor and that she adores Russell. Again, <laughs> again, women who defend def women who defend men who abuse them. Um, another case of that. Just like with uh, uh, what was her name, Lily Tomlin earlier. TMZ and eyewitnesses also alleged that a major exec for Fox was left in tears after Russell rebuked her for defending a line producer he wanted to fire. So he wants to do something. Uh, somebody else says, well, 
maybe think twice about that because X, Y, Z, and he flies into a rage. You know, that sounds like a the kind of person you you would uh, you would want to be around. That sounds like a like a good person to uh, to have as a mentor. So uh, back to uh, uh, the uh, so, uh, Silver Linings playbook. Allegedly, Russell was so hard on Adams while shooting Amer oh, American Hustle that she cried. This is Amy Adams. I was just devastated on set. The actress concedes that not all her co-stars had the same experience, but Jennifer Lawrence is an example. She's Teflon. I am not Teflon, but I don't like to see other people treated badly. You know what I mean? Good. That's, that's good that you don't like to see that. Um, uh, right. So then, um, so then the filming for, for the filming of this, this new box office bomb directed by David O. Russell that I reviewed yesterday, uh, entitled Amsterdam, uh, is revealed and there's, it's a star studded cast with all of these people. Um, but the star studded cast draws ire on social media where Russell's allegations resurfaced to the cast not know before they signed on. One Twitter user writes, if you knew, why did you ignore it? What did David O. Russell say or do to deem him worthy of another chance? Good questions. Um, okay, so here, uh, things, things were crazy on the set. He never yelled, stop. All right. You know, these are, this, these aren't exactly moral infractions, but, uh, but they do, uh, sort of add to the, to the, uh, impression that this guy is just unhinged. Christian Bale says he's not interested. This is in October, 2022, which is now he's not interested in ending his collaboration with Russell anytime soon. It's a very unique experience. David is unlike any other film director, and that's what you want. That's the whole point. A director brings a point of view, a rhythm, and everything, and the great ones are always unique. They're singular. Um, all right, and he, he addresses taking on a mediator role when altercations arose uh, during the making of American Hustle. So these are the things that, that we know. These are the things that have been reported about David O. Russell, the director of the movie that I saw yesterday. And the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm talking about this stuff is just because it fascinates me, it fascinates and appalls me. But, but I, on one level, it is just, you know, if you take your, uh, your emotion out of it, it is just fascinating how some people just get away with shit. Um, like why, why, would why would uh, someone not just give this jerk a, a knuckle sandwich and walk away and say I refuse to deal with this abuse? Why would he be allowed to assault his niece or his nephew, whatever we want to call her, him, uh, to sexually abuse uh, somebody that he's related to and that he's younger that who's significantly younger than him? Uh, he's 53. He was 53 at the time. The person he abused was 19 at the time. Abused this person, you know, openly in a, in a at a gymnasium, uh, and nothing came of it. Um, I somehow don't think that if he were, if I somehow think that if he weren't a uh, a Hollywood director with a lot of clout, that maybe I somehow suspect that. He maybe would have gotten charged with something for that. But it's also fascinating to see how these people enable him, if I may use that word. It's a little psycho babbly. It's a little, you know, AA uh, Al Anon sounding. But, but uh, it's, you know, the, the way that, that, that people who are his victims, especially women, in both of these cases, it's been women, uh, you know, they, they, they turn around and say, Oh, it's all right. You know, uh, we're, it's not, it's not, uh, it's, it's water under the bridge. I forgive him. We're moving on now. Um, just why is this allowed to happen? Why is this, why is someone so out of control, so abusive, uh, just allowed to, to, uh, 
to, to go on treating people like this with no repercussions, uh, legal or otherwise, no repercussions within the industry. This industry that's, you know, got a very sleazy reputation. And in recent years, they're supposedly policing themselves more and, and uh, uh, you know, uh, kicking out the bad apples. But, uh, but uh, David O. Russell is still there, still directing. Although his latest mo movie is, has been such a bomb, maybe, maybe that will end his career, even if all of these, <laughs> these abuse allegations weren't enough. We'll see. Please share, share your thoughts below if you have any, and they're worth sharing. Thanks for watching.